I tell you, hey, 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 what's up? And then go to football and I'll meet you, man. I'll tell you, I'll shout out to Sauce Diddy. I still want to see you creative training. <laughs> What's up, people? I'm Ace Bull. I go by Mr. Nobody. You don't know me, get to know me. I want to thank everybody who's been tuned in watching Creative Trends. I got a PSA, public service announcement. Everybody who's subscribed to the channel, I need you to make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. We were on our grind, hustling hard, going stupid before the notification bell was a thing. So I need you to make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you go comment. Give us some input, man. Let us know what you think. Tell us who you want to see us interview, and we're gonna get at you. All right, so let's let's get back into this. Uh, this uh, we're gonna go to the beef, the, the whole little beef thing. Uh, first of all, the first beef I actually saw was the one with you and I. Don't, it, is it was it cinematic or who was it was that said that they gave you some money and was on the on the internet basically trying to explain your situation and what y'all got going on about the little paper or whatever. Them building your brother out or whatever. Was that Dale? Somebody? I don't know. It was that was uh, Dale. That was Dale. The whole he said. Now what was said? He said, "I feel like I was owed something, or some shit, whatever the fuck the nigga said." And they buying the kids out. No, let's get some shit. Yes, it's true. They went and buy the kids out. We talking about this. We talking about half. Man. That's what we talking about. Who? We talking about little half. Dale. Oh, that's what we talking about. That's who said that. That's who went on the internet and said that. So little half with uh, and Dale, books. All of them. Okay. Look at they or Jizz and them. That's who we talking about. That's okay. that, this is that's who that's who you're So that's about. not cinematic. That's not cinematic. Okay, that okay. was something way before cinematic. Okay, bro. That was HWD. Okay. So he went on the internet and said they went and buy the kids out. So they had to recoup they five thousand dollars. Let's get some straight. Everybody know when you go buy somebody out at the end of the case, as long as they don't go on the run and nothing like that, they get the buying money back. Right. We didn't owe them anything. They was giving that buy money back. We didn't owe them anything. Then he said some shit like, he seen us have fifteen hundred dollar dice games or some shit. He wanted what we had. When we met them, we was already hot. We was the hottest young niggas in the city when we met half them. I've been doing half them since I was a little kid. Half them to play football with my brother. But they don't know when we start fuck with HWD. We was the hottest niggas in the city then. We was cool with the projects then. We was the hottest niggas in the city. So it was nothing that they had that I wanted. They said, he said some shit like, I uh, they offered us a contract. They did offer us a contract. Once again, Kel signed. I didn't. I didn't sign because it was like, if I'm finna sign, when I finally do put my ink on some paper, I'm putting my ink on some paper to where I never have to work in the streets again. Okay. So how much how much would it take to get to sign uh, Benji Bam to sign today? Today? Yeah, today. Right now at this moment. A meal? I need a meal. I know I'm worth a meal. So is that that's a meal with your publishing? Or that's just a meal straight out? How, how, how? No, straight out. I need a million dollars. I'm not signing unless you give me a million dollars. And that's gonna take you out. Like, like an independent label, I like something like that. I take a, a few hundred thousand, but like some big shit, I need a million dollars, bro. Period. I mean, with that, they was talking about signing it, and they weren't even giving us shit. All uh, right. So, so basically, it, it, it's still beef with them. Like, you don't, you don't care. Is it, is it smoke, you know? Man, niggas know what's up. I don't really like to speak on it too much because you know niggas still in the streets. And I know they on they end. I know how I look. Oh, he on some police shit. They cool. They cool. 